It's cardboard box time again. Hey guys, welcome back. This is another episode of me opening something on camera. And as you can see, I've got a big box here. It's blatantly from shop2.net. Not sponsored by them, but they're a great store. Go check them out. I don't think they have a referral link, but if they do, I'll pop it in the description below. Very pleased if you went to that referral link. If you go to shop2.net, if they don't have a referral link, just go with anyway, they're worth the money. And this is something which has arrived today in the mail. Now I know what this is, and if you've been paying attention to my videos which have not been uploaded yet, then you will know about it as well. But without further ado, get into it. Now, I'm not going to get my humour for scale out because it's not exactly a humour based item. Let's get into it, shall we? So, on the other side, first of all. And round the top of it. There we are. And we get free air. You should be able to see what it is if you look in squint. But I'm going to move the box out of the way. As ever, the box is smaller than the actual box it comes in. It is the PlayStation VR, aim controller, and far point. You'll need these. I've got that, I've got that. Apparently, you don't need a PlayStation 4 for it, you just need the uh, VR controllers. Look out for more VR, aim controller, compatible games coming soon. That's good news. Yeah, this is the new PlayStation VR aim controller, the effectively the light gun for PlayStation. But rather than being a this is quite literally a light gun because it's a gun with a little light on the end. Let's flip it around and see what we see. We're back. It's got the picture there, what it does. Picture of a game. One player. Two player co op online. Installation, dual shock compatible. But why not would you use dual shock if you're buying this thing? It's 1080p. VR compatible and AIM compatible. Now, I don't know if you remember, but when I um, was first buying an, a, a, a PlayStation VR, I actually went to Eurogamer Expo. There was a few videos about it actually on my channel around the time to time. And apparently, I had to re book, had to book re uh, VR experiences many many months in advance and I missed that because I went on a spur of a moment type of thing but I managed to look in and get myself a chance to play on PlayStation VR the game you get to play is random basically whichever game is available when your turn comes up is the game you play now I was hoping to play something like I think it was Drive Club I had there or one of the other games. I'm not a shooter guy. But I ended up playing Farpoint. And I have to tell you, it's the game which sold me on VR. Like I say, I'm not as much of a shooter guy. I okay with mouse and keyboard, I'm terrible with a controller. But Using the uh, aim controller to shoot things is really, really natural. Yep, yeah, you open up and you find nothing. There's lots of car cardboard already. I'm not going to put that there because you can't actually see what's going on. I'm going to put that underneath. So, so we've got the outer box, the inner box, and another box. So, for that further ado, what's in here? We have. Oh! Aim controller manual. We have the PlayStation VR required Farpoint game, not to be sold separately. And if I lift this up, I'm actually going to put that back there. I'll put that back there actually. Don't need that. As if you don't know how to use an aim controller. And lift it up here. 
it's actually a lot more protective than I thought it would be. So I'm actually going to close that up again. And we've got a plastic wrap, which you can open up. You should be able to start seeing it now. It's actually more weighty than I remember. We have the PlayStation AIM controller. So I'm going to get the awkward plastic, awkward cardboard out of the way. Just to see it better. So there we are, there is the PlayStation AIM controller. And it, you hold it like that sort of way. And you got a little, let's look at it here. You got here, you got a little analog knob. So if you're holding on like that, you can actually put it like that. And you got that there, you got the X circle drawing of square buttons around it so it feels natural to press those buttons. You got the touch pad on the PlayStation button at the top there, so they're out of the way type of buttons. Now down here you've got one trigger there. You got your charging thing down the bottom there. I think maybe for a lanyard, not sure. Now back there you got three L1 and L2 buttons, so da 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 da. If you see them there, actually from the trigger buttons, and you also got the options, the share button there. You also got the side there. You got an R1 button. And side you got an R1 button. So they're both R1 there. That must be R2 technically. Quick check, does it actually say R2 on it, I wonder? No, it doesn't, but um, that's quite clearly R2. You've got your main left analog stick and your D-pad. So you can be firing away, pew, 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 pew. And I kid you not, it looks plasticky. It feels firm in your hand, though. Look at the end of it, you've got this light bulb which will glow up and so you can track it with a PlayStation camera for VR stuff. And you may be moving around and shooting stuff with it. In fact, I'm moving around a bit now at the moment. Making sure that if I've got enough room where I am right now, the only thing I'm likely to hit with it is actually a real microphone, which I'm going to try and position in a way where I'm not going to hit it. Because I will be recording and potentially streaming Farpoint. So this is a game which sold me on on my controller. And I like it. It's it doesn't look hugely gun like. The only reason why you know it's a gun is because of the trigger. But it looked fun. Like kidding you not, you move around really aim it and your character me and the game aims how you aimed it. Sounds like it, it sounds right, it sounds like that's what it should do. But there's no way you, you somebody tells you that you think there's no way that can be true. That doesn't make sense at all. Of course, another thing, you've got the game, you've got the Farpoint how to play things. You've got a PlayStation Plus advert. And that's about it really. So this has been a new Farpoint unboxing with the PlayStation AIM controller. Like I said, I'm going to be playing this at some point, so I'm probably going to upload this video and start playing it shortly after that. So if this video is up, check me out on Twitch, I'll probably be streaming it. That's twitch.tv forward slash fuds underscore. Why the underscore? Because Twitch. Back when I signed up for Twitch, I'm not sure if you can do it now, but back when I signed up for Twitch, uh, you had to have six characters or long in your name, and obviously FUDS is only five characters. So, I'm FUDS underscore. Could have gone on some other crap, but, yeah, what can you do? Just let me know what you think of the uh, PlayStation Move controller. You know, it's, it's something you can't really show on camera. 
could do some more lasting ling shots. You got the buttons there. You got the buttons there. You got the buttons there. So you can angle it in a way which is easy to see. If I put it there, it's all in the dark. The way that you hold it, naturally, hands naturally go there. But you got the button down there as well. So yeah, it really does feel firm. So I'm going to charge this up. I'm going to upload this video and play a bit of Firepoint later. Well, thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.